Saint-Etienne's start to the new season with Gislain Printemps had been simply catastrophic. No win since the opening day of the campaign and just one point picked up from a possible 15 during the last five games. With plenty of question marks surrounding Levert's future, they travelled to Nîmes, who had only lost one of their last five, but who were on the back of a loss in midweek to Montpellier. Club top scorer Romain Philippe Opto started up front for the Crocos. The home side had an early opportunity to take the lead. Ripa forcing Moulin to make an excellent save. Diving header at the front post. But Moulin standing firm. It was then Bernardoni's turn to show his talent. A shot from Nordin forcing the young French keeper to make a save. Fomba hit the post from a Filippoto cross in a very lively match. The intensity continued after half time. Nîmes with an opportunity from distance, but the shot just going off target. But Moulin, it seemed, had it covered. Matcha Debushi, the former Arsenal man, then forced Bernardoni into an absolutely superb stop. His shot, turning, curling, dipping. Turning points in the match was when Roma Hamuma picked up a first yellow card for descent. A yellow card which would have plenty of consequences, even though Saint Etienne opened the score via Debushi. The right back rising unchallenged from a corner and giving Saint Etienne a much needed goal. Hamuma was then sent off a few minutes later for that horrible challenge, a silly challenge considering he was on a yellow card. Nîmes had an opportunity to equalise through Stojanovski, but Moulin with another good save. A huge sigh of relief for Ghislain Printemps and Saint-Etienne who put an end to a torrid streak. Levert remain in the bottom three and next face Lyon in a very important derby.